Hi, welcome to Elevate Yoga. Today we're going to look at Kundini Asana 2. So James is very good at this pose and he's going to demonstrate it for you. When you're actually just trying to learn it, it's important that you have a good chaturanga base. So this is how you would test out the chaturanga. Angelo, who's off to the side, is going to give me one more block. So James is going to take plank pose and you can look at the chaturanga video that we've already done, but just to give you an idea. Plank, squeeze the butt back towards the heels, go forward and bend your elbows. The shoulders shouldn't go lower than this, than the elbows, and then you can come back up. Now, what I tend to see in the arm balance incorrectly, and James will do an incorrect one, so take plank pose, and then take the right leg to the right tricep. So you could start it like this, or you could extend the leg to straight, and then bend your elbows, but more than the uh, shoulders, yep, collapse, and then people try to kick this leg up, and you can see it's just all kinds of hot mess going wrong. So don't do that. Remember the shoulders are not going lower than the elbows and you are pushing out of the floor. So a great way to learn it is take a block against the wall, take your left foot on it, and then take a plank pose with the right leg to the right tricep. So first of all, if you don't have the flexibility because as he starts to straighten out the leg, if it's too much, you'd bend it because this resembles side splits pretty much. First of all, keep the back leg strong, very strong, very straight, and you could be here or start to bend the elbows, but remember shoulders are not going lower. From here, you wanna keep transferring the weight forward until the back leg just lifts on its own. Good, and that's modified, or you can extend the right leg to straight. So if you struggle with that pose, just from the flexibility point of view, what you could do as you saw the leg from here is extending, you could start to take splits off center and pretty much that's the shape of the pose. So this would help your flexibility. As far as stability and strength, start to look at how you have been doing your chaturanga. So remember that you're doing this action, not collapse doing this action. Take your time with this pose. It's a tough one for sure. And it requires a perfect blend of flexibility and strength. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.